you guys like here uh today we're doing a video on uh, a light that we're going to be installing for our basketball hoop uh, it's getting dark at five o'clock already now uh, daylight saving is on the way it's going to be dark at 4 30 soon and we need some lighting to play in the afternoon uh we found this on amazon this was had some good reviews it's self-charging solar panel light so you don't need any electricity it said it's 11,000 lumens which is probably a little you know ridiculous but if it's anywhere close to that would be great uh it is a 180 watt led power light and 65k brightness so let's open this and show you guys what it looks like and then i'll show you guys some ideas of work on it to install it so it did come with two remotes which is pretty cool um this is the mountain rod so you, you, this is meant for like a street like attach it to a pole we're going to actually be attaching it to a basketball hoop my goal is to use this old rod we have from a playground set uh and connect it to the top we'll see how that works out uh hopefully this won't be too heavy this is all solid aluminum um huge solar panel actually it's a lot bigger than what we expected when we ordered it which is great uh one thing i noticed on this right away there is no charging port so the only way you're charging this is from the sun itself so in the winter time if you use it a lot obviously it's going to drain faster um uh, but we're only going to be using this for gameplay so on and off here's how much juice you have charged in it already sensor for the remote and well, i can't show you guys right now the lighting Unless I cover the panel, maybe. No. Nope. Oh, right here. All right, cover the sensor. So it looks pretty bright. Obviously, in the daytime, it's hard to tell. So now the goal is to mount this over the hoop. We got this pole right here. So we can bolt this on right to here, over like that. And then we're going to have the panel over the basketball hoop. And this is a lot cheaper solution than the few hundred dollars sets out there. So if this works, it's gonna be a great setup. So as you see, I'm gonna be a couple of feet over it. Let's put a couple of bungees right now to test this out. And we're gonna bolt this on. Even when you shoot right above, it's not going to uh, interfere. Good shot, dude. <laughs> so here's the deal. Got a hose pre-drilled. Those are the bolts I had handy right now that I'm gonna use. I might put some uh, old bicycle tubing around if I can fit on here just for some extra, um, uh, you know, connection uh, static so it doesn't uh, rattle and stuff like that. Doesn't mess up my paw. And then I just drill the two holes in the hoop. And whoever thinks this is, you know, dangerous for the hoop, no, it's not. This thing has holes in it already for mounting other pieces. It's just a couple extra little holes to mount the pole. So now we're gonna try to secure this up there. But first I gotta see how this light will connect to this end over here with this. So that's gonna take some messing around because normally it will just connect this to like a street ball or something. So that's the next step. All right guys, so I figured out how I'm gonna connect this to the pole for the light. As you see, it's too wide and this is pretty thin metal. So I need a secure connection. So I pressure treat the wood I have. This is one inch thick. This should hold up just fine. This will connect like this. And then over here like this to that one. And that's gonna give, should give us a secure hold. I'm gonna bolt it all up with washers and everything to make sure it doesn't loosen up. Once I do this, we're gonna throw it on the basketball hoop. Yeah. So I got the bike rubber tubing on the pole. That's gonna help create more friction or a good solid connection and here's the assembly i was talking about uh one thing with the bolts that came with the kit they didn't uh, come with any washers or crush washers so i provided my own but this will work out just fine now all we do is loosen up the bolts on this light slip this on like this and then we can put it up here's the light mounted now we can throw it up. And yeah, this is pretty bright, all right. All right, guys, here it is. 
yeah this thing is bright so there is a um dimness and brightness and hour indicators and all that um i'm not really sure how much dimmer it goes but i noticed when cars drive by i mean when you don't use it for a while it does go to a lower mode so that is pretty cool um it lights up the whole block as you guys can see perfect for, perfect for basketball and here's the bolts one one up there and that's it i left one bungee up top keeping it secure might as well uh let me show you the difference with no light right now if i can get this remote to work ah, there we go so as you guys can see pitch black right now and i'll back up and turn it on and we got the whole street lit up all right guys who wants to take some shots let's go there we go it's time to play all right you gotta make it in everybody made one let's go no redos yes it's game time people yeah. guys thanks for watching i hope this gave you an idea on how to do your own basketball light or whatever you want to use this for uh, we love it. We're going to play tonight to test it out. Uh, please subscribe. Please comment below. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. Uh, follow. We got more coming. Uh, thank you. So here's the daytime view of the setup, guys. As you see the light is way over the rim. There's no way you can hit that unless you're not aiming for the hoop. And I showed you the night video. It lights up the street perfectly. Everything is solid. We played a couple games already at night. Nothing's loose. This was the setup. I got the two bolts. One here, one up there. Just gotta remove that bungee. And that's it. It's holding it just fine. Thanks for watching, hope this is helpful and have fun building your own.